Welcome to another video on the Scout. Uh, today's video is we're going to go back to do some uh, adjusting um, rather than just showing some flights. And this video is in relation to the um, gears. A video I did uh, on my previous video uh, of which I'll put a link in the video. Um, basically says there's a problem with the gears, the retracting of the gears. Long and short is that when they retract, um, there's a potential that the it can fry the board inside the scalp, um, which no one ever wants to do. And whilst I've not been a victim of it, uh, a number of people have said that it, it, it does happen. And I really don't want to be uh, one of those people who's experienced it because I'm not good with electronics and replacing boards in, in inside here. So you, what's happened is on the internet, what we've got is we've got a number of people who have um, come up with an idea um, which potentially slows down the retracting of the gears um, and thus it protects the board um, from frying. Uh, and, and everyone so far seems to believe it, it, it is and it will work. Um, I say you might as well give it a try and do it. But what have you got to lose? It's just, it doesn't just open it doesn't fold and drop down as quick as you'd like so let's have a look into how we do this so the first thing we need to do is to turn on the transmitter we Turn on the scout. Right, okay. So that's what we need to do for that. So what we then need to do is we need to go into the function menu, go down to travel adjust, then we need to go down to, oh, I don't want to do that, so we need to use the other buttons. Auxiliary four. Don't get confused up here saying gear, as in you might think landing gear. Auxiliary four. And here we need to adjust this to plus 15. I'm sure there's some simple way of doing that. And minus 15. That's quite annoying. It's done my ears up. Right. That's the uh, that's the change that you need to make on auxiliary four. Uh, so if we exit back out of that, let's just go back into travel adjustment. Great, it's still there. Right. So the idea now is when I slightly lift up the scout. Bear with me. Replace that there. 
Uh, let's come out of the menu. Okay, let's adjust the camera so you can see this slightly. I'll stand up for this. So the idea is with the gear, Right, that has uh, now completed its checks uh, and it seems to be working fine. Whether or not you'll notice it, um, you'd, you know, it's not a significant uh, speed drop, but potentially it's gonna save your scout from causing uh, any problems to your board. So, um, we turn that off. Turn the transmitter off. And there you have it. Uh, the gear is now gonna retract uh, a slower and uh, put less strain on the uh, board inside here, the main board. One thing you need to now bear in mind, either before you do it or whether or not you decide you want to do it, is that by adjusting that, you now lose the ability of the auto retract. So if you return to home, the retracts will not automatically drop. Uh, you'll still get the return to home, but the retracts will now stay in the up position. So you need to remember that you've now lost the the automatic function of the landing gear dropping. It will all be manual from now on. Um, and that's what you've got to weigh up, whether you want that option to always to have the auto retracts, in which case don't move anything. Um, and if you want to have the uh, auto, the, the retracts done manually, then feel free to make the adjustments on the transmitter here. I personally, I'm going to go with the manual dropping of the gears because I don't feel uh, that I need to worry um, that when I see it coming to land, I'm not going to be, I'd like to think I'm not going to be stupid enough to realise that the gear's not down and I still try to land it. Um, hopefully my brain will kick in. But anyway, so that's that video for today. Um, I hope it's been some use. Um, please rate and subscribe to my channel uh, for more videos um, and please do share the videos with others as well um, it just uh, improves the, um, the the quantity and quality of the videos uh, that I produce so have a good day and I will catch up with you again soon